we'll guide you through how you can enable this link to previous option if it is disabled in your word so we have a quick and simple solution for that so without wasting any time let's get started with this video so guys just follow each of the step because it's I'll not say complicated, but it involves a simple trick to enable this link to previous. So just follow carefully. So first of all, what I will do is just remove all the page numbers from here. Also, what you can do is just select this footer. Let's say you have inserted the page number in the footer. Just go to the header and footer and from the page numbers, just remove the page numbers. It will remove it from all the pages. So just make sure that it did remove it from all the pages. All right. Now, Let's say that you are writing a book and this first page number is just about the author. So it should not attach the page number right here. The second page is uh, just about uh, the story of the author, let's say, or life of the author. And the third page is just about the topics covered in the book. So like the table of contents, the fourth page should actually start with number one, because this is actually the page number of the book. So what we do is when we double click on the footer and let's say we want to insert the page number, we go to page number, just go to the bottom here and insert the page number. Now what happens is it will place the number as four. And if we just close this header and footer, we will notice that it start placing the numbers from first document, first page, and it will continue through all of these pages. Now we don't want that. So all we have to do is just remove the page numbers. Now it's very simple to remove the page numbers. Uh, just double click on the footer, go to header and footer section, just go to the page number and remove the page numbers from here and just close the footer and make sure it is removed it from all the pages. Now what we need to do is we need to decide from which page you should start. So it was page number four, right? So this one is page number one, because if we hold this uh, scroll bar, on the right hand corner, it will show you the page numbers like this. So this is page number two, this is page number three. And after that, it should start. Now, the simple technique, what we need to do is to enable this link to previous option, which is disabled right now. What we can do is just go to the layout tab and just go to the breaks here and click on next page. That's the simple trick of it. After that, you can just go to the page four bottom, make sure it is page number four, okay. So just go to the footer and now you can see the link to previous option is enabled now. It's not blurred out. So just uncheck this only that way you can just finish the link from the earlier pages. And then you can just go to the page number and bottom of the page, just apply the pay, plain page number. And if it's a starting from four, just right click here, go to page numbers and mention there starts from one click. Okay. And just close the header and footer. And now you will notice that first page without the page number, second page without the page number, third page is also without the page number. And from the fourth page, we have page number one, then it continues through page number two, three, four, and all. So guys, this is a very important video. I hope this video helps you. And if you want to join other advanced techniques of Microsoft Word, you can check out the playlist link in the description. Also, if you want to join our complete basic to advanced training course, you can find the course link in the description as well. So that's pretty much it. Just comment down below if that works for you and I will see you in the next one.